Hi guys, it is time for my Project 3 Uses, also known as On the Chopping Block, because they're on the chopping block, you guys. Um, it's a way for me to cycle through my collection and just figure out why I don't reach for certain things. Is it because uh, I don't like them? And if so, why are they in my collection? Uh, is it because I'm unfamiliar with their formula or don't know if I like them or not? So this is a way for me to know. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. I am doing this project three uses in collaboration with CC from Panning for Goals. If you like panners, if you like watching panning videos, I suggest you go over and check her out and hang out for a little bit, see if you like what you see. Uh, I really love watching CC. Uh, CC also has another channel called CC's Trial Size Life, and that is where she does some unboxings, mystery boxes, talks about makeup, all of that. So I will have both of her channels linked in the description box below uh, for you to go check her out. If you haven't checked out my Project 3 uses, uh, I will link, link them, link them in the cards above. Okay, how did I do? How did I do? Well, you know what? I didn't do bad. First up, the ColourPop on a Whimsy. This was in here because I don't think I liked the color story, or I didn't think I liked the color story. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked the formula of it, and I wanted to see why I never reached for it. And while I'll reach for it, I'll pick it up and I'll put it back. Well, it's because it's trash, you guys. It's just trash. It's bad. I love ColourPop. If you've been here any length of time, you know that ColourPop is probably my favorite drugstore brand, drugstore price-ish brand. Um, I love ColourPop. Not all ColourPop palettes are created equally. I've had a few, uh, a few counting this one is three, that just did not work for me. And they, a couple of them are palettes that work really great for other people. So it just depends. It just depends on, on what works for you. And this did not work for me at all. I used this three times and guess what? I am going to take these shimmers out. These shimmers right here and put them in a, because they are magnetic and put them in a Z palette. And then the rest of it's going to the trash. Next up was the Ayana palette from Natasha Denona. I just had to have this palette, you guys. When everybody was getting it in BoxyCharm, everybody was like mad because they wanted the Jubilee. They got this one instead. So I knew there were going to be a bunch of them on Poshmark and Mercari. So that's where I bought it. I bought it for $11 on, I believe, Mercari. Okay, so that just happened, but you know what? It's fine because this palette was going away anyway, and the reason being, stand by for just a second. Okay, we're back. <sighs> that is the one that fell out. Um, this is actually a shade that I wasn't sure I liked. But I do like it, but just not with these shades. And I was going to pop these two shimmers out and put them in a Z palette also. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, you guys. I just know that it's not staying in my collection as a whole. It is not staying in my collection. And I think that was an omen. I think it was like, mm, you don't really want this palette, do you? Okay, continuing on with palettes. This is the Baroque palette. Color pop. Love the formula in this. Um, how many times have I used it this month? Zero. I haven't used it once. I picked it up to use it. I didn't use it. Um, this, okay, this is what gives me pause. It is so dark and it is so like, stand by. Okay, these are four shades. One, two, three, four. This is the middle duochrome shade right here. And I mean, that is a really pretty shade. It is. Um, these three are so similar and that is 
this guy, this guy, and this guy. They're so similar. So I swatched these four. These two shades right here are these two shades right here. So basically you have like four shades in a nine pan palette. Okay, so that's why it's in this project. Do I need it? Do I just wanna take some of these shades out and put them in a Z palette? I don't know, I don't know. But I did not use it one time this month. I didn't. So that's staying in. Next up is the Chromazone She Glam Chromazone Highlighter. It's a fine highlighter. I have so many highlighters and I'm not, I don't really reach for these type of highlighters very often. I think they're gorgeous. I love highlighters, you guys. I have a problem. I have a problem with highlighters uh, as far as buying them. I love them. Um, I used it three times. I, it's nothing special. I'm going to declutter it. The last thing I had in my project was the keys. It is a cream blush. I used it three times. I don't like it at all. This is what it looks like. It's like gummy. It's like gummy. I have several cream blushes. And you know, this is not cheap, you guys. This is not a cheap brand. This is the Alicia Keys brand. Um, I have two e.l.f. putty primers. I have the Natasha Denona cream blush. They blend out so beautifully. This is gummy. It's really gummy. So this is also leaving my collection. So I am decluttering four things from my collection that were in this project. And I'm pretty happy about it. I'm very happy about it. Um, I may, I may end up taking these shades out. I may end up taking the shimmers in the Anna Whimsy out. I don't know yet. Um, I have single shadows that I probably don't use that often. So we'll see. We'll see what I decide. Okay. So I need to put four items in to this project. Okay, so these are my products that I'm putting in. Um, I really hate that I keep putting eyeshadow palettes in it because uh, I have eyeshadow palettes that I'm using in other projects. Plus, I, I have a, I always pick too many for my shop, my stash. But anyway, I have one eyeshadow palette in here, and this is the Dangerous Love palette. Now, you guys, if you know me, you know that I love Batman. I freaking love Batman. Batman, Batman is my, that's my guy. This palette, and, and oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this palette. This is Revolution. It has a great formula. I love the formula. I do. The problem that I have with this palette is, except for this pink right here, there are no deep, cool mattes. You have, as far as shimmers, you have this really pretty lavender. You have this pretty pink. You have this pretty purple. You have this pretty red. What are you going to do with that? There are no, there are no mattes that, I just sneezed. Um, there are no mattes. It's just very, I don't think it's a cohesive palette, you guys. You have this green up here, but this green could be used with the matte neutrals, but you can't, I mean, you can use purple with neutrals, but I don't like to. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this palette. If I do, it's going to be for packaging only and not to use, which is a big waste, huge waste. So we'll see. Uh, the next thing I am putting in is my Kara Beauty blush palette. This is what she looks like. You guys, I don't even remember where I bought this. I've had it for a little while. I've had it for a couple, couple years. It's called You Make Me Blush. Look at these beautiful blushes. This looks like a blush lighter. It has a shimmer. 
it has a shimmer to it, a little, a light shimmer. Um, so you could use it as a highlighter or whatever. These are so pretty, but I'm not real big on warm blush. And this is very warm. This is very warm. And this is warm leaning. It's more like a, like a melon or like a salmon. Um, this right here is really pretty. And I don't know. Look at that. That's a pretty, that's pretty. That would be a pretty eyeshadow. So I'm going to see, I'm going to try to use it three times. See what I think of the formula because I've used it like once or twice before, but I have no recollection. I have no recollection of using it, of what I thought of it. So I'm going to concentrate on that. Oh, you guys, I don't know what just made me start sneezing, but it did. It did. Okay. Now the next two things are not palettes of any kind. You know what? But that I have mo more palettes than anything else. So I'm probably going to have more palettes in this project than anything else. Okay. The next thing that I have in here is the elf and I forget what it's called. And I don't know. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, it's, it's the glitter liquid shadow. This is like, I don't know. I'll put the price or price. I'll put the uh, name of it down here, the name of what it is, but this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. And you guys, I'm not a big glitter fan. I'm just not. So it's very pretty. This is what it looks like right here. A, I don't even know why I bought it because I don't like liquid shadow to begin with. Um, B, I don't like glitter. So I'm going to use it three times. Um, see if I like it. Otherwise I'm probably going to like pass it on to my daughter or something, whatever. The next thing I have, it's kind of surprising, kind of, but not really. Um, this is from Danessa Myricks and this is the vision flush and it is in the shade ballet slippers. And I don't know where I got this. I sure the heck didn't buy it. I might have gotten it in a busy beauty box. I think that's the only way that I would have gotten it. Um, I've only tried one other Danessa Myricks uh, product before, and it was their Yummy Skin Blurring Balm, and it was not for me. It was not for me. It was not for dry skin, in my opinion. Uh, but this is a cheek, eye, lip type thing. And I think the only way I would probably wear it would be as a blush. I never reach for this, you guys. I never reach for it. It is a very warm, a very warm blush. I use way too much, but in the summer, maybe in the summer, I might like it. Um, I do tend to have a little bit more color on my skin in the summer. Uh, which is not saying much because I don't have much color to my skin, but I, I never reach for it. I've had it at least, at least eight months, if not a year. So I'm going to try to use this three times. This might, this is more of a, I want to try it. Like, I just want to try it. I never, it's never on my radar. Also, I had it in with my liquid lipsticks and I maybe should have had it in with my cream blushes because that's where I would probably get more use out of it. Does that make sense? Because I don't reach for my liquid lipsticks very often anyway. So yeah. Okay. So I have to use this three times because I didn't use it at all last month. And then going in this month because I did take four things out. Yay. Yay me. The Cara Beauty Blush Palette. The Revolution Dangerous Love Palette. Um, the D Danessa Myricks Lip Cheek uh, Vision Flush. And the Elf Glitter Mess. The Glitter Mess. I forget what they're called. But it is in, what did I say, Flirty Birdie? I, I love the shade of it. I love the shade of it. I don't even wear liquid eyeshadow. So I'm going to use those. Thanks you guys so much for joining me today. Tell me in the comments below, tell me what you think of my opinion of the things and, uh, and if you've used any of these things and if you like them.
I'd like to know. I really appreciate you guys being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later.